Hello guys, thanks for watching this new video. The goal of the video is to show you in few minutes how to enroll an Android device into Microsoft Intune, Mobile Device Manager, and how to check the device compliancy, device posture check with APM. So first of all, let's go to Azure AD uh, and configure the Azure AD uh, tenant. So here is my demo Azure AD tenant. And the first thing to do, first of all, so that APM can talk to Azure is to grant an access for APM. So let's go to Azure AD first and go to Apps Registration. Here, the goal is pretty simple. It's monetary uh, if you want uh, APM to talk with, uh, with Azure, okay? So you create a new application, new registration, you give a name, and then you don't do anything more, okay? It's pretty simple. You get a client ID, so save it somewhere, okay? And, and then you have to go to secret, certificate and secret and create a new secret okay you give a name you, you give an expiration and then you, you can see a value this is your key okay this is your private key copy it save it because afterward you cannot retrieve it okay so so when you do that you have a client id a secret key it's what we need to connect apm to azure that's it last point you click to API permis permissions and you just add one permission for Intune. So go click to permission. You search for Intune. Inside Intune, you go to application permission and then you check this box, get device compliance. Okay, you save it. When it's done, you will see here it's not green. So you have to admin okay you have to grant the admin consent okay so you click on it and then you should switch to green that's it it's done now azure and apm can discuss next step let's go to intune for intune there are several steps okay four or five steps to do if you want to deploy an app to the mobile device if you want to deploy a configuration to the mobile device and if you want to check the compliance. So first of all, before enrolling a new device, you, are, you have to, to check the users and the license, okay? So here, this is my Azure, Azure tenant, so I have plenty of users from France, and I created one, this one, okay? I created the, the user Intune. And this user has a license for Intune, okay? You can see I assign an Intune license on it. Okay, so it means this user now can enroll a device. That's it. Next, get back to Intune, the groups. This is very important. Every profile created in Intune need to be assigned to a group. So you have to create a group, okay? So I created this one, group Intune number one, and I just add a member, Intune. Okay, so from now, when the Intune user will enroll a device, this device will be part of the group Intune. And then you're gonna see in a few minutes, I will create profiles, compliancy device profile that I will assign to this group. Okay, so now, step by step, what is the goal? The goal is to check when the Android device connect to APM, if this device is compliant and enroll okay so to check that i need a compliance policy that's it okay so i click on device compliance i click on policies and i create a new one so as you can see i created several several uh policies and for android it's android enterprise okay it's android for work so you click on create policy and let me show you mine you select, of course, Android Enterprise, Work Profile, and then you have plenty of options, criteria to make the device compliant or non-compliant, okay? So you can specify, for instance, minimum version, you can specify if you want a pin code or not, and so on, okay? So do it, 
you can just keep the default value if you want to make a test and then save it every time you save a profile you need to assign the profile to the group okay so i click to assignment i select a group and i search my group this one i click on select and click on save so you can see this profile is assigned to group in two perfect and ac force okay so from now so far so good the next step is the app we could stop now okay we could stop now and just enroll the device and then download an app download the f5 access application from the store and make a test but i want to i want to create a corporate application portal where the users will be able to download the app from this portal and i want in tune to send the configuration as well so we have to go to client app for ios it's pretty easy okay there is no android for work concept okay for uh, uh, apple for work okay concept it's only one only one tenant for uh, for ios but for android we have two kind of application two kind of two, two kind of tenant the personal and the work and here it's a work android for work so the first things to do is to check the application so as you can see i deployed several i added not deploy added several application and of course the one i needed a five access a five access is mandatory if you want to check compliance because only a five access is able to provide with the device id okay the device unique id the the id used by apm to check if the device is compliant uh, toward intune so if it is an ios you click on add you select ios and you find the application for uh, for android for work it's a little bit dif more difficult or complex okay so the first things to do okay is to uh, is to uh, approve an application okay so you select an app here instead of using android we select manage google play okay because it's a managed google play store on my mobile devices i click on approved and i search for my application okay so i five access this one so i click on the app and i click on approve okay i already did it here okay so it's approved and now i should be able to assign this application to my group so when it's done you save and here it will not appear right now okay it will be appear only if you assign this application to the group so you have to go to app licenses you click on it you will see the same information okay because it has been it has been approved here so you can see what has been approved and downloaded and you click to assignment and you add a new group from here so it's a for Android devices and I select the group this one okay 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 and save so after that you have to wait a few minutes to let everything merge and and move okay so the last step is to pre create a profile for the configuration okay so just so far we just we just provide with an application if i have access but that's, the application is not configured so you go to you go to uh, device configuration profiles and create a new profile give a name okay so it will be vpn android give a description if you want select the platform android, android enterprise because it's on android for work and in the list i select vpn here I give a name, okay? So VPN to Azure. I will tell you why because my APM is in Azure. And then I need to provide with my FQDN, okay? Something like that. Then I have to select if I want to authenticate with certificate, username and password. If I want to authenticate with certificate, I have to push the certificate to the device. I can use Intune for that if you want, okay? And in the list, I have access. And OK. And save. Very simple. And don't forget 
at the end the when the profile is created like this one okay this is my fqdn my vip don't forget to assign okay so you continue you click on the on the group you set your group you save and then the group we have uh, a device configuration application configuration a compliancy profile so so far so good i think we can enroll the device right now okay so to enroll a device is not too complicated let's have a look to enroll a device you need to download an application named intune company portal okay this one the first time you start this application the application will ask you to authenticate so i authenticate with my intune user okay so intune at f5paris.omnicosoft.com this is my intune email address okay you can see my tenant is here if you have a look deeper this is my tenant so inside this tenant i have my users okay and intune is a user so when I authenticate, then I arrive here and the device will be enrolled and you will see a lot of screens to accept, next, accept and so on in order to enroll the device, download profiles, get authorization uh, and access to several parts of the, of the US. When it's done, it takes two or three minutes, the device will appear, will appear in a in Intune okay so here you will see a device so here so far so good my device is an all my device is compliant so now I just need to install f5 access and be sure that the configuration is pushed so when I'm here I can click on the on the corporate app store okay so when I click on it I have the application available in my corporate portal and you can find the F5 access. So you click on the F5 access, you install it and that and then you got it. In Android you will see this kind of icons and you can see a small bullet notification with the, with these. Okay? This means for work, for business, okay, for enterprise. So the F5 access has been installed from the corporate portal. And then here you will see a pop-up uh, that will ask you do you want to install the configuration from Intune? You click yes, agree, and then the configuration will be installed in a file access. Okay, so my configuration is here. This is a configuration sent by Intune. So from now, what I need now is an APM. So let's go to APM. In Azure AD, in Azure Cloud, I deploy uh, an RM template, okay, with one nick, uh, best license, and as you can see, I don't have a lot of things to do. It's very simple. So the first thing to do, of course, is to connect APM to Intune. So let's go to APM, authentication, endpoint management system. Create Intune, select a SSL, a SSL profile because it's an HTTPS connection to Intune, select the DNS resolver and provide with the free information. As a reminder, the tenant ID. The tenant ID in my situation is at 5 Paris on Microsoft.com. Okay. The client ID, if you remember the client ID, it was in Azure AD. In Azure AD, we created an application, okay, here, this one. The client ID is here. This is a client ID. And the last question is the client secret. If remember, I told you in your secret, save it, copy and pass somewhere. Okay, you passed it. So from now, you should have a configuration like that with your tenant ID, client ID, the secret, and then you should, should see a green bullet. It means connected. Last things, create, an, create a VP, a policy. So up to you, imagine everything you want, okay? So I just put a login page, I don't 
ID authentication, ID query, then this box, manage endpoint status. I select my, my, my object, okay, my engine configuration. And by default, these are the two branches. Endpoint is manage, okay, is an all, okay, and is compliant. Or manage and all, but not compliant. And then I just assign my network access. Okay, the so network access is a normal one. Okay, so far so good. So if I want to make a test, here, I just start my F5 access, select the configuration push by Intune, click on connect. If it is a login and password, log with a login and a password, okay? Connected, okay, so it means I pass the compliancy. And if I get back to my APM, active station, connected, go to the variables, you should see a new variables named MDM, here, as you can see, I, my device is enrolled, my device is compliant. This is a device ID. The MAC address is used, not MacBook, MAC address. The ID used to, to control the device is a MAC address, and this is a MAC address of the device. Okay, so very easy. Let's do it now, and if you have any questions, comments. Take care.